Hey everybody, this is Robot here, Vespa Motorsport San Diego, ScooterWest.com. Uh, I'm going to talk about one of the tech features that's been added to a lot of the Vespa and Piaggio products. Um, starting with the 946 in 2013, the Vespa 946, they added a traction control system. So that was the first Vespa with a traction control system. Um, if anybody's familiar with car tech, I mean, cars have had traction control systems for 15 or 20 years now, and it's been mandatory for probably the last 10 years. Uh, the whole idea is, is it measures the individual wheel speeds, much like an anti-lock braking system, and it regulates the acceleration so you do not get wheel uh, spin. And it's what that's useful for is if you're on a, a limited uh, traction situation, like say you're riding on um, slippery asphalt, and on a rainy day, the tires won't get 100% traction when you get on the gas a little bit too hard. Uh, you're going around a turn, you hit some ice, um, it's gonna limit your, um, your, your uh, throttle input automatically to hopefully recover the scooter much easily, easier because um, if you have wheel spin in a turn, you're most likely gonna lose the rear end, you know, slide out the scooter, you know, which is commonly re referred to in like a car would be, you know, um, an oversteer. So, you know, if you're spinning the tire, you're gonna, your rear end's gonna come out and you're gonna slide out, lose control. So in 2015, they added the ASR system to the Vespa 300 GTS. And is the acronym for ASR is Acceleration Slip Regulation, you know, and all it does, like I was suggesting, is it measures the front wheel speed and the rear wheel speed. And if the rear wheel speed overcomes the front wheel speed, it will limit the throttle and um, allow for better control of the scooter. There's many times where you not want to use a system, such as in dirt, where you have limited uh, traction and you do want to have some wheel slip, or if you want to do something like a burnout. So Piaggio's allowed the scooters the option to turn that off. And starting with the 2018, they added a separate switch. Prior to 2018, the traction control system was turned off with the, um, the start button. And I can show you that on an older scooter. So when you turn the scooter on, you can see there's two indicators flashing. That's your ABS indicator and the ASR indicator. And once you start the scooter and roll forward, the system completes itself test and those lights will go off. So I'll go ahead and start the scooter. I'm just going to roll forward. You only need to roll forward a little bit. So now you can see both the uh, ABS and ASR indicators are no longer flashing. And is what that means is that they both complete their self-test. If they're still illuminated after you ride, what was that? 10, 10 feet, three meters or whatever, then there's some problem with the system. Uh, I haven't really seen any problems with the system other than people come in with flat tires and wonder why the, the scooter's hesitating. And that's the major thing I've seen. If you have a flat tire and you're trying to ride off the road, you want to turn the system off. And on this 2018 model, you just hold the ASR button for about one second. The indicator on the LCD screen comes on and that indicates that the tra traction control system is turned off. And I'll do a little demonstration in here just to show you the difference on a slippery surface with and without the traction control on. Um, in our service department, we got a epoxy floor and it's pretty uh, slippery. Um, so it's pretty easy to induce wheel spin with uh, too much throttle. So I'm gonna leave the system on and if you listen to the motor tone, it has a hesitation. So I'm gonna give it a handful of throttle. And if you saw, it limited the throttle. You know, it controlled the throttle regulation as you, even though I gave it full throttle, you know, it, it modulated the throttle to um, limit wheel, wheel spin. And if I turn the thing off, this is where I gotta be careful. So now, now it's off. And you can see over there, it left rubber. So 
And with the wheels spinning up on this limited slip, you know, or limited traction surface, and it's much easier to um, lose it. You know, if I was in a turn, I probably would have had the rear end of the scooter 180 degrees and would have spun around. So that's kind of the difference. Uh, you know, if you're on, it's best just to run with it on unless you have using the scooter off road or you're you have a flat tire and you're trying to limp off the uh, limp it to a shop or something. Those are two situations where you'd want to turn the traction control system off. On a 2015 through 2017 Vespa GTS 300, you can see they don't have the extra switch up here. And also on the LCD screen, you don't see the uh, letters ASR. Uh, you do see the ABS light. Um, the way you turn off the uh, trash control system on these is you hold a, hold a brake and just push the start button after the motor starts. And you'll have the EFI ASR light come on, which is also, also the check engine light. And that indicates your trash control system is turned off. It's a little bit different procedure on these bikes. They made it much, much simpler on the 2018 with a separate switch. So the last thing you got to know about the ASR system is whenever you change a tire or you change your wheels, anything that has to do with the uh, circumference or diameter of your uh, tires or wheels, I'm talking a small change, like going from a used tire to a, a, a brand new tire, uh, you need to recalibrate the system. Um, it's a little different on the 2015 through 2017 models. The 2018, they changed the key procedure. I'm going to go over the steps on how to do it. I'm not going to do the test ride, but uh, say I put new tires on this and I need to recalibrate the system. You want to start the scooter, you know, much like you do any other time. ASR light is flashing. You want to roll forward until both the ASR and ABS lights go out. So now both lights are extinguished. You want to turn the ASR off. So hold the ASR button for about one second. The ASR lamp is on. And now you want to hold both the ASR and start button at the same time. So I'm going to hold those for about four or five seconds, I think it is. And see now that the, the ASR indicator is flashing at a slow rate, you want to find a smooth, smooth road to ride on for, I think it's about 1,000, you know, maybe like 500 feet. You, you want to drive the scooter at a steady speed around 20 miles an hour or 35 kilometers an hour. And you do that until the light goes out and that indicates it's uh, completed the calibration. Uh, the 2015 through 2017 models, the procedure is a little different. Uh, start the scooter, turn the ASR off by holding the start button, and then pull your brake in and hold the start button for four to five seconds until the check engine slash ASR light flashes at that, uh, I think it's like one flash per second, and carry out the same procedure, ride on a, a smooth road straight for about 500 feet, um, maybe it's a thousand feet somewhere in, in that range at about 20 miles an hour and that's how it carries out the calibration. Again, anytime you change a tire, you've got to go through those steps to calibrate it. Um, for small differences over the, the wear of the tire, it automatically compensates, but whenever you do something such as changing a tire, you need to make that change. Again, it's really critical to keep the uh, pressure of your tires up because having low pressure changes the diameter of the tires and it will inadvertently um, activate the system and the scooter will, it will, uh, it will feel like the performance is a little down because it's limiting um, the, the throttle to the engine or the torque output of the engine to try to compensate to get ideal wheel speed between the front and rear wheel. Hope that helps everybody understand the traction control system found on these new Vespas. Um, when I first heard about it on the 946, I thought it was kind of silly. Um, we're talking about a scooter that makes about 12 horsepower, 11 horsepower, needing a traction control system. It makes sense on a motorcycle, it makes 100 horsepower, or any modern car that's making several hundred horsepower. 
But is what I found, the GTS, the BV350, the MP3500, they definitely, you know, it adds to the level of safety on these scooters having that system in place. See everybody next time. Robot here, Vespa Motorsport.